Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this baby dress here. It's size zero to six months. Um, this is just a little flower. I know you already know this, but I have to say it. Remember to always take caution when putting on little ribbon roses or anything like buttons or anything like that on baby dresses. Um, but it's actually really pretty easy. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started on it. Okay, in addition to the supply yarn and stuff needed you will need a little hook and eye closure to close the back up i actually am out i have to go to walmart and get some um in, in regular thread needle to sew that on or a tiny little button sew it on and then it will it will hook over and um hook together like that but yeah i just have mine tied right now because i got to go to walmart and get that hook and eye closure but okay for this project let me scoot this out of the way Okay, I want to say a special thanks to all my friends at Lion Brand for providing today's yarn for me. Today I'm using the Lion Brand Heartland, which is a 100% acrylic medium weight number four. There are 251 yards per skein, and this is my second skein. So you're going to need about two, a little over two and a half skeins of the main color. And this one is called Biscayne. And then I used one for edging, and you're not going to need quite half of that. And it is called Acadia. Of course, I got all oh, pretty, a whole bunch of pretty colors in the Heartland. And don't forget to check out lionbrand.com where they have thousands, oh, it's over 5,000 free patterns, tons of patterns, lots of beautiful yarns. So don't forget to check out lionbrand.com and see what they have to offer. Also, I'm going to be using a size H, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. Okay, and I want to take just a second, as always, to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, if you look in the lower right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a little red subscribe button. If you click on that, you'll automatically be subscribed and you'll never miss any of my updates. Also, if you like this video, if you give it a thumbs up. So we're going to go ahead and start off with a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to start by working a chain of 50. And once you get your chain of 50 made, we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And then remember, we don't count the one that's on our hook. So double crochet in the fourth stitch. And then we're going to work one double crochet and every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like that. So one double in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. All right, I've made it to the end of row one, and now you should have a total of 48 stitches, and that includes this little chain here on the end. He counts as a stitch. So counting him, you should have 48 stitches. So now we're gonna chain three and turn our work. Now that chain three counts as a double crochet. So what we wanna do for row two is we wanna have two double crochets in a row, and then the next stitch, we're gonna put two double crochets into the same stitch. So this chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we're gonna go into the next stitch right here and double crochet. So there we have two double crochets in a row. Now the next one, we're gonna put two double crochets in the same stitch. And now we're gonna repeat that again. We're gonna put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one into the next. one into the next and then two into the next and that's what we're going to repeat for row two one double crochet into the next two stitches so there's one and two and then two double crochets into the next. And 
one double crochet into the next two and two doubles into the next. So it's double, double, two doubles, double, double, two doubles, all the way until you get to the end of the row. All right, I'm coming to the end of a row two. Now you should be able to do a complete repeat. So I did two doubles in a row, so double, double. Now my last stitch is gonna get two doubles into the same stitch, and that's actually this little chain here on the end. Go ahead and put two double crochets, just kind of right in the, to the top of it, somewhere close to the top. So two double crochets right there in that last stitch. And that'll end row two, and now you should have a total of 64 stitches. So now we're gonna chain three and turn our work. Now that chain three counts as a double crochet again. Now we want three double crochets in a row, and then we'll put two double crochets into the next stitch. So this one counts as our first one. So we're gonna go ahead and put one double crochet into the next stitch. And then one into the next. And then the next stitch is gonna get two doubles into the same stitch. And that's what we're gonna repeat for row three. One double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three, and then two double crochets into the next. Again, one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, three, and two double crochets into the next. And I'm gonna repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the row. So one double, one double, one double, two doubles. One double, one double, one double, two doubles, all the way to the end. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three. Now your last stitch here is this chain three on the end. It should be two double crochets into the top of that last stitch. And that'll end row three, and you should have a total of 80 stitches now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the piece. So just take it like this. around like this sorry and then we're going to slip stitch the piece together so we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into this chain three over here right into the top of it and now our piece will be connected like that so for row four we're going to chain three so our piece is connected and we're gonna turn our work like that. And now we're going to put one double crochet in four stitches and then two double crochets in the next. So this chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we're gonna go ahead and put a double crochet into the next one. And into the next one. And then into the next one. So that's four in a row, counting that chain three. And then we're gonna put two double crochets into the next. And that's what we're gonna repeat for row four. One double crochet into the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and then two double crochets into the next. Again, one double crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, Four, and two double crochets into the next. And we're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around. 
one double crochet in each of the next four and then two doubles into the next all the way around until you get right back over here to your starting point all right i've made it to the end of row four and your last stitch should have had two double crochets in it and you want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your beginning chain three here and you should have a total of 96 stitches now now we're going to work on the armhole so row five is the armhole row so we're going to chain three and we're going to turn our work okay now what we want to do is we want to do 15 double crochets in a row so this chain three counts as our first one so we'll go ahead and double crochet into the next and we're just going to keep double crocheting until we get 15 double crochets in a row counting this chain three so there's one two three four five six okay i got my 15 double crochets in a row now what i'm going to do is chain two and I'm going to skip the next 19 stitches. So skip 19 and then the, the next one over, double crochet into it. Skip a 19 and double crochet in into the next. Just like that. And now you got one armhole formed. Now we're going to do one double crochet into the next 28 stitches. So this double crochet counts as number one. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I've got my 28 stitches in a row done. So now I'm going to chain two again and I'm going to skip the next 19. And in the next one, I skip 19, and the next one I'm going to double crochet. Like that, and that's my second armhole. And now I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the remaining stitches. And you should have a total of 15 counting that one. So go ahead and double crochet until you get to the end of the row. All right, once you make it to the end, you want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet, which is the beginning chain three. And now at the end of row, row five, you'll have 58 stitches. Now that is not including these armhole stitches here. It's these, these stitches around here, not counting the chain twos. So you got the 28 in front and the 15, 15 on each side. So you'll have a total of 58 now row six we're going to chain three turn our work now we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our chain two space Okay, I've made it to the chain two space of my first armhole. What I'm going to do is work four double crochets just right through the space. So I'm just going to go right through it and work four doubles. So it's one, two, three, and four. And now I'm going to continue working one double crochet in every stitch. So make sure you get this first one right here one double in every stitch until i get to my next chain two space all right i've made it to my next chain two space my next armhole and i'm going to do the same thing i'm just going to work four double crochets right through the chain two space. Just like that. And now I'm gonna continue putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get to the end of the row. All 
Okay, I'm coming to the end of row six. I'm going to end with a slip stitch into my beginning chain three. And now you should have a total of 66 stitches. And now I'm going to chain three and turn my work. So now uh, we're going to be working in rounds. And so this will be round seven and this will be the dress, the skirt part of the dress. So you want to make sure the right side of your work is facing you to where... I always say where the first row of double crochet we did is facing right side up. If it's not, you just need to turn your work around to where it's facing right side up. Um, so what we're going to do into the very first stitch here is we're going to do a triple V stitch. So that is worked by putting three double crochets, a chain of one and three more double crochets all into the same stitch and we're going to work it right here where we just slip stitched now that chain three counts as our first double crochet so we're going to yarn over and go back in and work two more double crochets so there's three double crochets and then we're going to chain one and work three more double crochets and that in the same stitch and that is the triple v stitch like that now we are going to chain three and we're going to skip one stitch right here skip that one we're going to single crochet into the next like that and we're going to chain three we're going to skip one single crochet into the next and then we're going to chain three skip one and we're going to work our triple v stitch into the next so we're going to skip that one and the next one we're going to work three triple or three doubles chain one and three more double crochets all into the same stitch now we're going to kind of repeat what we've been doing so we're going to chain three we're going to skip one and single crochet into the next chain three skip one single crochet into the next chain three and skip one and do our triple v stitch into the next so skip one and do in the next one we do three doubles chain one and three more doubles all into the same stitch again we're going to repeat it we're going to chain three skip one single into the next chain three skip one single into the next chain three skip one triple v stitch into the next so skip one and work our three doubles chain one and three more doubles into the same stitch so we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to the beginning chain three skip one single into the next chain three skip one single into the next chain three skip one and triple V into the next and it's gonna look all tight bubbly roughly it's supposed to look like that so it's not you're not doing anything wrong so go ahead and repeat that all the way around until you get back to your starting point all right I'm coming to the end of round seven let's see I did my triple V stitch I chain three skipped one and singled into the next then I'm going to chain three again skip one single into the next 
and then I'll chain three again and you should have one left to skip it's actually kind of really small looking but it is a stitch right there skip that and go ahead and end by slip stitching into your beginning chain three of this triple V stitch here so slip stitch into that and now in round seven and you should have a total of 11 of these triple V stitches okay so now rounds eight and nine are the repeat rounds for the dress part so for round eight we're going to slip stitch three times to till we get to our first chain one space so there's one two and our third one will go right there where that chain one is now we're going to work a triple v stitch into that chain one space so we're going to chain three which counts as our first double crochet then we're going to work two more in there so that'll be a total of three doubles now we're going to chain one we're going to go back into the same space and work three more doubles Now what we're going to do, we're not going to chain anything. We're going to do a double crochet just directly right through this chain space. So we're going to yarn over, just go right through the space and double crochet. Now we're going to chain three and single crochet right here into the next chain space. Then we're going to chain three and we're going to double crochet into the next chain space. Like that now we're not going to chain anything we're going to go directly to the middle of the next triple v stitch and work another triple v stitch so we're just going to yarn over go right into that chain one space and work our three doubles chain one and three more doubles and that's what we're going to repeat for round eight okay we're not going to chain now we're just going to do a double crochet directly into the next chain space just right through it and then we're going to chain three single into the next chain space chain three double into the next chain space and now without chaining again we're going to work a triple v into the center or the chain one space of our next triple v so we're going to work three doubles chain one and three more doubles repeat it again don't chain double crochet directly into the next chain space now we chain three single crochet into the next chain space and then we chain three and then we double crochet into the next chain space and now without chaining we go ahead and work our triple v into the chain one space of our next triple v so i'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way around until i get back to my starting point and that's kind of what it starts to look like All right, I've come to the end of round eight. I just did my last double crochet there in that last chain space. And I want to end by slip stitching into my beginning chain three of the first triple V stitch. And you still should have 11 of the triple V stitches. Now for round nine, we're going to slip stitch three times again until we get to the middle of our first V stitch. So our V stitches are always going to stay lined up. And then we're going to do another triple V stitch right here into the chain one space. We're going to chain three, which counts as our first double. 
Then we'll work two more, which will be a total of three double crochets, chain one, and three more doubles. So we got our first triple V stitch there. Now what we're going to do is chain three, and then we're going to single crochet into the next chain space, like this. And then we're going to chain three, single crochet into the next chain space. And then we're going to chain three and triple V stitch into the chain one space of the next triple V stitch. So it's similar to what we did on round seven. Just like that. So we're going to repeat that. We are going to chain three and we're going to single crochet right here into the first chain space chain three, single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, and triple crochet v-stitch into the chain one space of the next triple crochet v-stitch. We're going to repeat it again. We'll start with a chain three, single crochet right here into the next chain space. Remember, there is no chain space between the triple, triple V stitch and this double crochet. There's nothing there. We don't go into that. We go into the next chain space over here. And then we chain three and single into the next chain space. And then we chain three and triple crochet V stitch into the chain one space of the next triple crochet V stitch. And we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around until you get back to the beginning. Again, one more time, we're going to chain three, single crochet into this next chain space chain three, single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, and triple crochet v-stitch into the chain space of the next triple crochet v-stitch. Now I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to the beginning. All right, I've made it to the end of round nine. I single crocheted in my last chain space. I chain three, I'm gonna end with the slip stitch into my beginning chain three here, just like that. You'll still have your 11 triple V stitches and now it's just repeating rounds eight and nine. So for round 10, we're just gonna repeat round eight. We're gonna slip stitch three times to the middle of our first V stitch, chain three, and V stitch right back into that chain space, triple V stitch. Okay, for this round, remember we do not chain after this V stitch. We go directly into the first chain space and double crochet. And then we chain three and then single crochet into the next chain space. And then we chain three and do a double crochet into the next chain space. And then we don't chain anymore. We go directly into the next triple V stitch, the chain one space and do another triple V stitch. So we're just repeating what we did on round eight. So we're just going to continue repeating rounds eight 
in nine. Don't chain after that triple V, go directly into the next chain space, double crochet, chain three, single into the next chain space, chain three, and double into the next chain space. Don't chain, go directly into the next triple V, and triple V into it. So repeat rounds eight and nine until we get our dress, the length that we need it to be. Now I'm not quite sure how many rows or how many rounds I'm gonna do, but I'll let you know here in just one second how many total rounds I do. Okay, I went ahead and repeated uh, round eight and nine for a total of 20 rounds all together. I mean, starting from way up here, uh, round one or row one or whatever you wanna call it, all from one all the way down to 20. I stopped at 20. And now I just uh, ended like normal, slip stitch there into my beginning chain three, and then I tied off. Now I'm gonna take my edging color, do a row of edging. So I'm just gonna start my yarn right here. Here's where I ended. I'm just gonna start it right here in the middle of this uh, V stitch, triple V stitch. Now I'm gonna start off by chaining three and that's gonna count as a double crochet. Now I'm gonna work a total of nine double crochets into this space. So this counts as number one. So I'll need to do eight more All right, there's my nine. So that's a shell. That's what we're gonna call a shell. Nine double crochets in the same spot. Now I'm gonna jump down to this first chain three space right here, and I'm gonna single crochet into it. I'm not chaining or anything. I'm just gonna do a single crochet into it. And then this single crochet right here, I'm gonna go right into it and I'm gonna work nine double crochets. I'm gonna work my shell. three, four, five, and there's nine. Now the next chain three space right next to it, I'm just gonna go directly into it in single crochet. And now I'm gonna jump up to the next triple V stitch and in that chain one space, I'm gonna work a shell, nine double crochets. And that's kind of what we're gonna repeat all the way around. So that's kind of what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and do it again. We're gonna go ahead and we're not chaining or anything on this on this uh, row. We're gonna go directly to the next chain three space right here and we're gonna put a single crochet right into it. And then we're gonna go to this single crochet right here and we're gonna work a shell into it. So nine doubles. And then the chain three that's right next to it, I'm gonna single crochet right into that chain three. And then I'm gonna jump over here to the chain one space of the next triple V and I'm gonna work a shell into that chain one space. So nine doubles into that chain one space. So this is just a row of shells, give it a shell edging.
Okay, again, we jump to the next chain three space. So right here, single crochet right into it. And then the single crochet that's next, work a shell into the single crochet. There's nine. The chain three right next to it, single crochet right through it. And then the next triple V stitch, that chain one space, we work a shell right into that space. So I'm gonna keep repeating this pattern all the way around until I get back to the beginning. That's what it kind of starts to look like. Okay, once you made it all the way around, you want to go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your beginning chain three there. And you should have 22 of these shells now. You go ahead and tie that off. And hide that tail. Flip it over here to the right side. And I like to give my shells a little bit of a tug lay down correctly now they will be catty cornered a little bit because like a little bit one will be higher than the other because that's just the way it looks I think it looks kind of neat like that okay so it's supposed to be like that if if you think you did something wrong or you didn't do anything wrong all right now for the neck I'm just gonna go I'm gonna flip it over to the back here I'm just going to go around the neck with my white, and I'm just going to do basic single crochet right around it. So, I'm just going to start right here in my first stitch. And I'm going to just do a chain of one. And then I'm going to jump to the next stitch and single crochet. And now I'm going to work one single crochet and every stitch along the neck here until I get to my last stitch. So this is just cleaning up the neck. So one single on every stitch along the neck until you get your last stitch over there on the other side. And I'll meet you over there. So you just go all the way around the front and then you'll be end up right back here. Okay, I've made it all the way around to the other side. And when you get to your last stitch here, you just want to slip stitch into that last stitch. And then you want to clip that off. Hide that tail. And then we get started on the sleeves. All right, now we're going to start the sleeves, and you can see that I have one done. It's a puff sleeve, and they're not really that hard to do. Now, both sleeves are made the exact same way. Only the hardest part is probably just getting right through here. We can do it. Okay, we're going to start our yarn. Um, See this side of this double crochet right here, this double? Start our yarn in that stitch right next to it. And we're going to chain one. Now we're going to go back into the exact same stitch and do a double crochet. Now the side of this double right here, we're kind of just kind of go, we're going to do one double crochet. I kind of just wiggle my hook through the side of it. Just one double right through the side of it there. Now we're going to do some double crochet decreases over this armpit area okay so we're gonna go in to right into this space between this first double crochet here and this double crochet here and we're gonna yarn over go into that space and draw up a loop then we're gonna yarn over and go through the first two loops now we're gonna go in between the next two double crochets so pull them apart a bit 
yarn over, go right through that space, draw up a loop, then you yarn over and go through the first two loops, and yarn over and go through all three. So there's one decrease. Now we're going to do a decrease again. So pull this next, pull the double crochet over in between the next two double crochets there. Yarn over. Go into that spot there between those two double crochets and draw up a loop. And yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. Now I'm going to pull the other double crochet, the next double crochet over. And we're going to go in between those two double crochets. Yarn over. Go right through that space. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two. Then yarn over and go through all three. So that's another double crochet decrease. Now we're going to do it again. Pull the next double crochet over. See that space there? We're going to yarn over and just go right through the space and draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. Then we're going to pull this last double crochet over. That space there, we're going to yarn over, go right through the space, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops, and then yarn over and go through all three. We're going to go into this little spot right here beside this double crochet here. So you pull it apart, see this little space here? We're going to go right into that and double crochet. And then we're going to do one double crochet in the side of this double so I kind of just work my hook through the side there like that and then a double crochet in this spot right here where this double crochet is attached to and now it's just one double crochet in every stitch around to get back to the beginning so you should be able to see these stitches really good I hope that wasn't too confusing I know it can be right there in that armpit area. It's hard to see. But just go in and work one double crochet in every stitch until you get back over here to where you started. All right, I've made it back to my beginning and you should have 27 stitches now. So you wanna go ahead and end round one of the sleeves by slip stitching into your first double crochet. Now we're going to chain one and now we're going to work, we're not going to work any more decreases. We're going to work two double crochets in every single stitch. So starting with this very first one, we're going to go right back into it and work two double crochets. And then two doubles into the next. And the next, which is actually these decreases from the previous row, just go ahead and work two double crochets on top of them. So I'm just going to continue around working two double crochets in every single stitch until I get back to my starting point. And this is going to create a big, roughly poofy sleeve, I guess. So two doubles in every stitch, back to the beginning. All right, I've made it to the end of row two of the sleeve and you should have 54 stitches now. Go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet. Now it's gonna look really big and it's supposed to, that's fine. Now rounds three and four are exactly the same. You chain one and it's just one double crochet in every stitch around. So I'm on round three now. I'm working one double in every stitch until I get back to the beginning. And I'll have 54 stitches still when I get back to the beginning. I'll end with a slip stitch into my first double crochet. And then I'll repeat it again for round four. One double crochet in every stitch. 54 stitches at the end of round four. So I'm going to go ahead and finish round three and four up. One double in every stitch. And I'll meet back up with you at the end of round four. 
All right, I've made it to the end of round four and I still have my 54 stitches. Go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet. Now we're gonna be working double crochet decreases in every single stitch. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna yarn over and go into that very first stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. Then we're gonna yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops and yarn over and go through all three. So a double crochet decrease, it's worked over two stitches and we're gonna do that all the way around. You wanna make sure you kinda of try to do it as tight as you can though, cause sometimes it can get loose on you. So we're gonna work again. We're gonna yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, and then yarn over and go through all three. So that was two double crochet decreases. Let's do it again. Yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two two loops. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two and yarn over and go through all three. So there's another one. And that's what we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. And yarn over and go through the first two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two. And yarn over and go through all three. So I'm just going to repeat this, working double crochet decreases all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've come to the end of round five of the sleeves and I did double crochet the decreases all the way around. And now you should have 27 stitches again. That's what you had on round one. Go ahead and end with the slip stitch into your first double crochet. Now I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna go back into that same stitch and single crochet. So we're on round six now. And I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch around. So just one single in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. Okay, I've made it back around at end of round six and you sh should have 27 stitches still. Now I'm gonna use a stitch marker. I'm gonna put it right here after that last stitch that we just did. That way we don't have to slip stitch our rows. Now we're gonna do a row of decreases. So you got 27 stitches. So we're just gonna jump over here. We're gonna do three single crochets in a row, and then we're gonna do a single crochet decrease. So we wanna jump over to the very first single crochet we did. Not the chain one, but the first single crochet. And go ahead and single crochet into it. And you wanna do three in a row. So that's one, two, three, and then we're gonna do a single crochet decrease. So we're gonna go into the next stitch and draw up a loop, and then into the next one and draw up a loop, and yarn over and go through all three loops. So that took one or two single crochets and made it into one. Again, we're gonna do three single crochets in a row. There's one, two, three, and then a single crochet decrease. So we go into the next stitch and draw up a loop, and then the next one, drop a loop and yarn over and go through all three. Three single crochets in a row again. There's one, two, three, and then decrease over the next two. And we're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to the beginning. All right, I'm coming to the end of round seven. I just did my last single crochet decrease and you'll have two stitches that remain before you get to your stitch marker. Just go ahead and put one single crochet in those last two stitches. And now you should have 22 stitches. Go ahead and move your marker up like that. And now I'm just gonna work around and I'm gonna put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. This is uh, round eight. 
It's just one single in every stitch until I get back to my stitch marker. Okay, I've come to the end of round eight. Um, you shall, should have your 22 stitches. Now I'm gonna do one round with the white edging. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this off. I'm gonna slip stitch into the next stitch and I'm gonna tie that off. You don't really need that stitch marker anymore. And now I'm gonna start with my white and I'm just gonna go around and do a round of single crochet using the white. So I'm just going to start my yarn. I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to work right back into that same stitch. And I'm going to single crochet. And then I'm going to work around putting one single crochet in every stitch. This is round nine. This is our final round of the sleeve. Just work one single crochet in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. All right, I made it back to the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into my first single crochet and I'm gonna tie that off and I'm gonna hide any remaining tails that I have. Remember, both sleeves are worked the exact same way. All right, that's it. That's all there is to it. I just went ahead and put a flower on here. You don't have to do that, that's up to you. Um, and then you remember you need to sew on a hook and eye closure or a little button to the back, but that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. Uh, if you look up, remember, if you look up in the, um, left hand corner right now, you'll see a picture of my face. If you click on that, you'll automatically be subscribed and you'll never miss any of my videos. And if you, if you enjoyed this tutorial, you're able to make this dress. I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and... You can always show me a picture of all your stuff on Facebook, too. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.